Welcome back to the D -D 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 -E, uh, Christmas Special. Uh, yes, today is Christmas and I'm giving myself a present by opening one of my Crucible of War first edition. Um, I'm probably going to be opening number four. Someone said that I should open number four. Um, I can't remember where or who said it. It's hard to remember all these things. But it has been said. But before we do that, I'm going to open a Christmas present that f came from uh, Carlos. A uh, little uh, box breaks he does. I enjoy gambling with him and he put in a little Christmas presents for all those who participated in the previous round. So we're going to open that up in a second. The other thing is obviously uh, Christmas Day we all want, uh, the one thing we all want on Christmas Day is a pink snatch. That's what we all want on Christmas Day. And I got two of them. So, Merry Christmas to me I guess. Uh, also snagged this eye for about 300 bucks. Very pleased with it. It's got little whitenings on the corners, if you can be bothered to see that. On most of the corners, but that's okay. $300. Happy with that. Uh, one of the better cards I got out of his breaks. It's one of my favorite foils. You can just see his eyes and legs glint. Oh, great cards, great cards. Anyway, let's see what the present... Uh, the little, uh, uh, little present is in here cold foils or did I get did he send me coal in the form of cards let's have a look shall we Whoa, look at that we have got ourselves a f coat of frost we have no idea what we're gonna get and we have a um cracked bubble of sorts Whoa. uh do anything for food yep I suppose that's me it's all about just doing whatever you need for me <laughs> you get that money so you can get that food that's all it's about and today is all going to be a lot of food uh, that's why I'm recording early because I do not really want to uh, come out of this all bloated come and try and record this when I'm fighting off a food coma so thanks for that mate um, you guys can check out his Facebook page uh, he well uh, his posts on the Australian buy sell and swap he's always doing Box breaks, uh, they're always fun every week. I put in a little bit at least every week, sometimes a bit too much. Other times, I feel like it's not enough. Anyway, let's break this case. I feel a bit bad about doing this, but it's got to be done. Can't get to the single box without breaking a bake. we breaking open the seal. We'll break it open properly, eh? This video may take a little longer because it is first edition, so I might fawn over the cards a bit more than I usually do. I mean, I've done plenty of crucibles. Oh, look at that, and they're backwards to the to the label. Anyway, that's still gonna that's still gonna go one, two, three, and four under there. So let's go get number four, shall we? It's number four. I think number three is gonna have the goodies, but I have been told, nah, go get number four. And it's Christmas, so. I like to do what other people tell me a little more. In that sense, I'm like, oh yeah, we'll do that for you to, so you can see if you were right or wrong. See, no unlimited print. Look at the glorious first edition. This is my first time opening first edition. In fact, we might not use our magical knife. No, we're going to use it. What am I kidding? All right, ready to rip into it? Look at that. Right off. Got to be more gentle with this for the display because you know, it's a first edition display. I mean, it's going to be super collectible and limited. And I'm like, yeah, I don't care. I just ran a knife over it. Can you even see the blade on it? No. That was a good cut then. All right, we're going to leave them in the box. Uh, we've got another spare empty box here to throw our commons in to keep it away. Tales of Aria box sitting there. We are four minutes in and we haven't even opened a box. We are really milking it today. Ah, oh, how do you open these? These aren't the Japanese ones with a nice little pull tab. Oh, we're going to do it differently. Oh, it just feels good. I don't know. It just feels good today. Man, I like these cards already. Just their first edition. Uh, we have a couple of sleeves. We have a bag of sleeves standing by. We might sleeve all the 
stuff. Uh, Blessing of Serenity is our first foil. Yeah, let's just, for, for niceties, we're going to sleeve up every single one of our foils. We'll work it out later if it's even worth it. Or I'm just full of just being overly precautious. And we have two random rares we don't overly care about. Commons go into the pile a little more carefully because these they are a little more awesome. Alright, we should be able to start getting a rhythm here soon. Uh, we are obviously hunting cold foils. Um, I would obviously like a Shiana and cold foil or a, um, a Fable, but that's, you know, massive, massive wishful thinking. Torrent of Tempo in our foil. Yeah, put that to the side, we'll fill that up in a second. And we have a Pitfall Trap and a Zen State Token. Hmm. Huh. That's strange, I've only ever seen them in the rare slot in the Unlimited. Maybe I just didn't care enough. In it goes. Now we have some um, some of these semi-rigids ready to go if we do full code for a cold foil of any note. Um, we'll put it into a sleeve and then straight into that. The packagings are even different, like it's totally different colorings for the packs. I don't know, just how I feel about it. Oh, cold foil already. Maybe we'll get a second one. It's not the best, but it's still a cold foil. Oh, it's beautiful. Well, of course, hoping for a second cold foil now that that's come out so early. And we have a maj our first Majestic. So that's one cold foil. Ah, uh, so this is the only cold foil I get. Whoever said to open box foil, you're wrong. Um, I will be probably just opening boxes uh, until I hit something really big and then whatever's left might get put onto the table. But not today, not today. There we go. It's in there. It's safe now. Um, but not today. Not today, ladies and gentlemen. Put our Majestic aside. Not going to sleeve it up. It's not foil. It's not super special because it's a, a first Edition Majestic when it's not played in the first place. Rumpus Thump. Ooh, we're damaged. Into that. It's actually damaged, if you can see it. There it is. Ah, but it is a uh, Soul Bead Strike. And that's what we got. Our usual pair of Nothing Burgers that we get in these. Damn. Double. These damn boxes of crew. I mean, I love crew and all, but... Eight minutes in, we barely open packs. Got to start spitting it up, ladies and gentlemen. It is Christmas. We all love Christmas. And we've got places to be, but... Ooh. Iowa Crimson Haze, first edition. Nice. Definitely going to have to put that in. And a Flood of Force. There's the Majestic. Nice. The, everyone loves a foil first edition Ira. Who doesn't? That's a nice. That's a nice a pool. Ooh. Not being as funny now because you know this is more serious. This is first edition. A bit of money in there. Um, Cindering foresight. Nobody cares about still. Uh, Raging river and we have a sledgehammer. I don't care about either of those. I've never seen a sledgehammer used by anyone. Not even as a joke. It's kind of sad if your card is doesn't even get used as a joke. The foiling does look a bit better on these and some of these cards. I've only ever had a Japanese, I guess. Uh, Towering Titan and Dauntless and uh, the Promise of Plenty. Nothing Virgo Rares. We'll come back to that. I want to open a couple more packs before I start sleeving up those rares now. We have uh, Dotty Chan on the front. And we're going to keep going. We're looking for something. Oh, yeah. We'll just blossom. We have combust uh, the uh, combustible courier, and we have just high speed impact and a big horn. Yeah, I got tired of sleeving up those uh, less than reputable uh, foils there, and we'll come back to them in a minute because I don't seem that good. 
Uh, snapback, clapback for our foil. Uh, we have uh, Feigned Death. It's not bad Majestic. I like that Majestic. It's always fun. Ah, Sleeping Darts. And as our next foil. Uh, the Dauntless and the Promise of Plenty again. I feel like we had that a pack or two ago. Do like these cards. Yeah, have a nice Kodachi that looks like the reverse by the looks of it, but I could be wrong. The other side, we obviously have Azalea, and we have our famous thing. That's not too bad, Ace of Oast. And put that in. Oh, that's our Majestic Foil, actually. We have our Majestic Foil, so we better actually sleep that one up. Could be worth summon. I very much doubt it. I don't see it being that useful. I just don't play wizard, I guess. What do I know? I don't know. play wizard. I just play warrior. Blah, 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 says everybody in the comment section. Yeah, cool. But that's okay. It's Christmas. Christmas joy, ladies and gentlemen. They do slide nicely, these cards. Ah, uh, Death Dealer. And we have a flying kick. Common. Uh, R smash. Another majestic. And sitting a, a foresight. Again. That flying kick. Some red. So that's a good. That's a good pull for a first edition foil. We like our reds. Like our reds. A little quiet. Crane dance in blue. Benji and a barging big horn. Oh. That first pull, the cold foil, early on, I'm really hoping I get a second one. Because I deserve it. It's Christmas. This box should give me more presents than just one. That's how I see it. Uh, anyway, reforce the line is our foil. Some bad. Uh, Dauntless and a cream dance. Not the most interesting because they are just bulk. But they are bulk first edition. So we have Copper, Dawn Blade. Uh, we have Katsu Sing, uh, Sleep Dart and Foil again. A Rune Blade Barrier, Majestic. And a Skies. Woo, Skies. Everybody loves a bit of Skies, don't they? It's alright. It's okay. Okay, uh, e. Re some research notes and foil. They do look nice. I do like the foiling of it. But, you know. And we have, obviously, the rare that we got for our cold foil and a crane dance. Mm, I do love Crucible, but, and this feels just so nice having first edition. We have our second Majestic Foil. Ooh, I don't think I've ever seen this one in foil. You guys see that? That looks quite nice. And Giggity too. Uh, she's in foil. She's all shiny and stuff. Anyway, looks like a nice card in foil. So, and that's a Majestic Foil. It's a nice little hit there. We'll just put that aside. Now for, but inside it, just so you can see, that's how much we left. Not much. Not much at all, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, cross your fingers. Hoping for a nice hit in the end. Something massive. That would be awesome. Uh, we have riled up for our foil. Looks nice. Tiring Town. And we have the Lost Prince. I'm still banking on that last minute cold foil. Because that's how you do it. Uh, increase the tension. Righteous cleansing for the majestic and high speed impact. Oh, can't can't just push it out if it's not going to open properly. We have to open it properly if it's so we don't damage the cards. First edition needs a little more care. If that was on the bit. I'd probably just be like, "Fuck you." get the fuck out cards, but 
Out for blood in yellow. Don't think I use it. We have cash in and dauntless. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. We've got like three packs left after this. Three whole packs. Still time, ladies and gentlemen, to get a nice big hit. The foil of kissing out uh, of making out with this lady and just ending up as some monster's food. It's what we're gonna all be like. It's life, mate. Sorry. Uh, obviously reinforce the line and promise of plenty. I'm gonna leave that one on the bottom. Do that last. Barging big horn. Is the foil. Tire trap and rock slide trap. Two more, ladies and gentlemen. Just the two more. Rune Chan token. Uh, first foil, first edition. So it's something, I guess. Put that aside. And we have bump bump. Two more boring for uh, rares that we tend to get all the time. That and a. Uh, the skies are the three that I always seem to see and have the least interest in. Last pack. The little Christmas miracle in the back here, maybe? Mm -hmm. I doubt it. I, I'm cynical now. I'm cynical. Yeah. Cross the week is the last foil, and we don't even get a majestic to close out. So, ladies and gentlemen, I wish that wasn't going to be a Christmas miracle, uh, but it's not. But I'm still happy that I opened it. it. It was a lot of fun to just have a look at the first edition versus uh, Unlimited. This is the first time I've had first edition out. And for those of you that want to see it, um, probably the biggest hits of them all was our Ira Crimson Haze foil. I she may get legend at once point. Aetherize in foil, majestic, first edition. We have uh, righteous cleansing. We have a foil uh, flood of force, not for that great of a card, but it is a foil majestic, first edition. Rune blade barrier, ah uh, smash, vein death, another f uh, flood of force, and a unified decree. Uh, nothing too special with most of these. Um, oh, and of course, how could I forget for those that didn't want to watch it, we have our Claw Cold Foil. Now, I don't know if this is the offhand uh, of the two, and the other one is more common or not. I might have got lucky in that sense, but I'm not sure yet. Still, adds our cold, first Cold Foil for out of our case. Uh, more to come. Obviously, once I hit a big one, I if there's uh, one box left, I'll leave it unopened just for display purposes. If not, I'll open them all and I'll buy another box somewhere at some point for display purposes. Anyway, it's Christmas, so I hope you guys have enjoyed watching me uh, open this um, and watch the money evaporate. But that's part of the Christmas spirit too, is watching your wallet disappear. Um, and yeah, I guess uh, one last um, Merry Christmas to all you all. And a happy new year. I hope you continue to enjoy my content. Um, so anyway, I got to get going to a little get together with the family. So once more, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. And that's all we've got time for here at B. -D 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 -E. And we'll catch you all next time.